Hey guys, it's GamesHQ and today I'm going to be doing a quick um, homebrew installation guide for the Sky 3DS and as you can see you have to head over to this uh, Ninjhacks website which is uh, snailum.github.io slash ninjhacks2 forward slash and it brings you to the 2.0 beta and it's just uh, a quick guide of how to install Ninjhacks into your 3DS or new 3DS, uh, what it is and what you need. So for this one, because this is a 2.0, you have to have a software version of 9.0.0-X and 9.9.0-X. And X is any digit, so yeah, as it says there. And you have to have an SD card compatible with your 3DS. Uh, for this instance, I'm using the one that came with my 3DS. And a copy of Cubic Ninja. Uh, retail or eShop. Uh, for this, on uh, my Sky 3DS, I downloaded Cubic Ninja, so I have that, and that's all fine. So what we're going to want to do is have our SD card from our 3DS inserted. I've got 1.1 gig left, and I'm going to go ahead and delete this. One second, and delete these two. Okay, just wait for that to go. On. These are. Now, those are the Ninjax installations, uh, yeah. So once that's all done, as you can see, I have the DCIM, which is like the photos and stuff, and just the Nintendo 3DS, which this all comes with the SD card if you have the DS on it. Anyway, so first of all, we're going to go to, do, actually, we're going to go to number three straight away. Uh, I'm going to cover these two uh, later on in the video. So now, you can either download the Homebrew Starter Kit, or the homebrew launcher menu uh, executable but what I do is the homebrew starter kit because it has got some other stuff on it and as you can see it's number one because I already had it so we're going to want to head and open that it's got the game configuration dot text the boot and uh, some stuff yeah so we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to extract all these to desktop uh, replace these files and destination yeah Exit that. Okay, we're going to go ahead to the desktop and let's see where it is. Okay, I think this is, yeah, this is it. So it's, yeah, this is it. So we're going to open that and we've got our SDH, uh, SDHC card in there. And we're just going to quickly drag all of these. Wait. Yeah, drag all of these into here. And. Once that is done, you're going to go to your downloads and open it up. Wait, so I've, uh, I think I've done something wrong here. Yeah. And wait, we're just looking for the file uh, boot. Yeah, here it is. Sorry, that was uh, put in the wrong place. There you go. So that's the thing that actually boots the homebrew launch so once you have all of that done uh it's all in your uh sdhc card and what i'm gonna do is i'll exit that and i'm gonna remove it safely just in case yep yeah so now once that is done i have got the sdhc card removed safely and i'll go ahead and now take you to actual recording of me doing it on the 3ds so I'll be back in a second guys okay guys now once you have got all of the stuff there you're gonna have your 3ds and you're gonna have the SD card you're gonna want to make sure it's your 3ds is actually turned off because uh, that's what it tells you to do uh, when you're removing the SD card so just go ahead and follow that open it up and wait for it to load it takes a minute or two or less than that actually yeah, as you can see, I have Cubic Ninja on my Sky 3DS, so that's all fine. You can download; you don't have to actually buy it. Yeah. So once that's installed, you're gonna want to head go open it up, and I have uh, you have to go to the uh, website. As you can see, I have on my laptop here. Uh, it says, put that down for a second. It says uh, old 3DS. This is uh, the point, uh, 2.0 beta. Now go on the how do I run Ninjax? Go on get Ninjax, 
and so and put your firmware. So if you're on the new 3DS, put, oh, go ahead and put new. If you're on the original 3DS, go and put old. So I'm on 9.9.26e, and update QR code, and then we have it there. So that's going to be there for just a moment. Now, on here, you're going to want to head and go create QR code, and this takes uh, some time. Scan QR code, and just make sure you get the whole QR code in the box it does take some time sometimes you can get in straight away if you do it uh, properly but it just takes sometimes you have to fidget with the camera yeah we go there it is as you can see it kind of just glitched it a bit Oop. oh sorry you have to have the internet on I forgot about that so for the first time you must be connected to the internet and my internet thing just here we go so or if you're not connected to the internet it does crash it but once you've got it all set up uh, you don't need the internet anymore because it's already configured onto your game so just go and skip that okay and wait for it to load go and create QR code and scan QR code and there we go we're gonna have to do it all over again oh done it quickly this time as you can see I'm, uh, not very good camera so you can see, I'm looking at it right now you can only see why it's up I'll read what it says Ninja X 2.0 beta uh, 2015 7 18 uh, 23 59 14 uh, it says the website install the exploit to your save game this will delete your save game and make some of the game temporarily inoperable. The exploit can later be uninstalled. A, yes, B, no. And a bunch of S's there. Oh, there yeah, you can see there. So you want to pause it and just go ahead. So yeah, I click yes and it's installing it. And hopefully, I had, uh, the first time I did this, I had some troubles with the... Uh, the home it says uh, press A to run the exploit. Homebrew Robin is ready. So there we go. It's now gotten into the homebrew launcher, and I don't know why for some reason uh, not all of my apps have actually installed. So right now all I have is region freeloader. Now as you can see the current game is Cubic Ninja. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and oh yeah, actually I think I deleted the game. But I'm gonna see if it works anyway. Press the button, let the LED flash, and let's see, yeah, oh, I still have it, okay, and I'm not sure 100% if this works, sometimes I've had uh, some problems, so click A to play, and B to cancel, there we go, it's just, I'm not 100% sure, sometimes it just left me on a black screen and I had to turn my 3DS off and on, so it looks like it's doing something. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the uh, region free. I think they have to just uh, fix that. I don't know if it's just my console or if it's every console uh, for the 9.9.0.26 Europe version, but it's just not working for the region free. I don't know if it's something I've done or anything like that. But yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna actually try and fix the problem with the. Uh, so you can't even press the home button. So you actually have to reboot your 3DS, hold it off. So I'm going to go ahead and try and install some third-person shooter games. Uh, hopefully an emulator for like the Super Nintendo or Game Boy or anything like that. And as you can see, I've just turned it off. So yeah, I'll be back in one moment, guys, back on the my laptop. So yeah, thanks, guys. Alright guys, now this is um, another part of the video, how to install the homebrew onto the SD card, as I, uh, I think I did, I, I did something wrong when I put it in the SD card, as I didn't put them into the .3DS um, menu or what it said in there, so look, uh, I had all the files out on the root of the SD card, all I have to do is have the boot .3DSX, and on the 3DS underscore home menu, 
x uh, x data tool or whatever um i went in there and these are all of the homebrew i have and if you want to install homebrew you're going to want to head uh, go ahead over to www.3dbrew.org i'll have this all in the uh, description links will be in the description so everything will be fine but anyway you have all here uh, this is a launcher that you would have downloaded earlier uh, these are applications uh, so like the homebrew browser i don't know what that is but i have downloaded it because i wanted to check it out some games uh, 3ds craft which is very popular apparently is a minecraft clone but for 3ds and emulators so uh, nes emulator gba super nintendo uh, another gba and a game boy color and yeah so anyway i've got all that done in my sd card here and there's another a play coin setup which i'm not sure if it still works but it lets you have unlimited play coins for your 3ds well 300 is the max you can have but it just keeps on resetting it to 300 so you can buy as much stuff as you want so yeah i'm not sure if uh things in the store are over 300 play coins if you if they are then you can't get it or whatever i don't know i don't know the whole uh, situation with play coins but anyway yeah, now I've got all of that sorted, I'm going to go back over to the um, 3DS and hopefully it works. So yeah, thanks guys. <clears throat> okay guys, now I had some issues with the homebrew menu launcher and all that long, but I managed to fix it. So let's go back on create QR code. I've already got it all launched and all of everything, so it should be fine. Yeah, it's running it. Yep. No. There we go. And as you can see, I've everything installed, and that was a huge relief when I actually got it done because it took me quite a long time. So I want to try this. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. There we go. It changes the color here. So up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Oh, oops. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. What the f <laughs> um? What the? F I don't even know what happened there. Uh, okay, let's. I am just gonna quickly. That's something uh, surprising. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, I swear to God. Okay, I don't know that was. I don't want to risk it if it broke anything. Well, probably wouldn't break anything if like reset my data on the exploit. So yeah. Just go on ahead and reset it, and it shouldn't take too long, but hopefully it's all fine. Hopefully I didn't do anything to mess it up for me. Alright, so go ahead and go on it, and load it up. <sighs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's get rid of Create QR code and let the exploit load. Home menu Robin is ready. <clears throat> and uh, it's I think it's because I uh, had so quite a few things installed that it took so long. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, how it works basically. Uh, let's see what this does. Copy uh, X data, save data to SD card. Um, enable normal. Uh, I don't know what that does. Uh, I think you can have your own personalized themes uh, without paying. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look into that. And maybe just have a little bit of fun with it. So yeah, this is... I've played... Uh, no, I haven't played that one yet. I've played something around here. It's like a first-person shooter game. Not a very good one, but still decent. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and load. See if 3DS Craft works. Because I've was having some. i had some problems with that. And it looks like it's not working. Uh, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's, I've, I've done something wrong or it's just not the... You, know, you can't actually have it on the newest firmware, I don't believe. But yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, just keep that there for the time being and for any later updates. <sighs> okay.
Okay, let's let's go on the homebrew uh, thingy just to test it out because I haven't actually tried any of this before. So start it back up. And yeah, as you can see, I've got the all the homebrew. If there's any confusion in this video, which I'm sure there probably will be because it hasn't been a very professional video, um, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the, vid uh, during the video. I'm just going to load something else up. But yeah, and uh, I'm going to be linking uh, my previous Sky 3DS setup video to this and vice versa. I'll have links in the description. I've got like some st silver thing. Alright, it's ready. Okay. I want to see if an emulator works because I'd like to try some of that. I think they should try and make a Nintendo DS emulator uh, on this because I know you can play DS games on it, but it's just, it'll be just a bit of fun, wouldn't it? Okay, let's go on um, Game Yob. And that hasn't worked either. Okay, well, there, there's probably some inconsistencies in this video. But yeah, I'll have. Um, I'll keep on trying these and I'll possibly uh, post in the description which and what is working and what's not working. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you leave a uh, comment down below, like the video, and share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and make sure to check out any previous videos and share this with your friends. Alright, cheers, guys. I'm <laughs>